Hi and welcome to my best of series. Today I'm going to talk about the best material model that you can create for a polycarbonate material under finite deformations. So in my example here you can see in M calibration I have experimental data in both uniaxial tension and uniaxial compression at multiple strain rates. I also added a Poisson's ratio load case in M calibration so we can calibrate the bulk modulus for this material model. The tensile data has both loading and unloading cycles, as you can see here too. And the assignment is to calibrate a material model to all of this data at once and see if we can capture all of this behavior with one and uh, well-calibrated material model. So the way you would do it is that in M calibration, you select the, set the material model and um, there are many different choices here. And I have already calibrated a number of these uh, to this data set and I selected the ones that I know will be good candidates. So I'm going to go through the results here uh, with you right now. So the first one I want to talk about is the Johnson-Cook plasticity model. So this is a plasticity model that sometimes is used by uh, people to predict the response of thermoplastics. I'm not typically recommending this but it's a choice that some people uh, use. So if you calibrate this to this data and the best predictions you can get in this case is as was shown here. I just clicked run once and it shows you the predictions. And we can see that the predictions are 11% is the average error, which is not terrible, but the predictions are elastic and then perfectly plastic. That's uh, what the material model wants to calibrate to in order to capture this response as best as possible. The unloading predictions are not very good and it doesn't capture any rate effect. So clearly there are a lot of compromise here and I wouldn't recommend this model because of it. But it's a choice that some people use so therefore I wanted to investigate it. Another model that is uh, of, uh, potentially useful here is the the Bergstrom Boyce model. So this is the ANSYS version of the Bergstrom Boyce model. This is a model that I developed back in the day when I did my PhD work. Uh, I studied rubbers though, I didn't study polycarbonate. And this model works pretty well for rubbers, but it can be applied obviously for thermoplastics, but the predictions are not all that awesome either. We do get strain rate predictions um, that are somewhat correct, but the shape of the curves is a little bit similar in some sense to the Johnson Cook is almost bilinear and that's just what the model calibrates to in order to capture this response. In other words, the Bergstrom Boyce BB model wasn't really meant for thermoplastics. If you really need to use it, you can for this application, but there are certainly better models one can use in this case. Another one that I looked into is the, the PRF model. So this is an Abacus 3 network PRF model. I use uh, the one that I call 3 network Yo Hyperelastic with Power Flow, and I calibrated this to all of this data at once. And again, you would think that the PRF model is really awesome, and it is pretty good in many cases, but here's an example where it really doesn't work all that great. The average error is 11.9%, and it's a little bit rounded here, the stress stream prediction, so it's not purely bilinear in some sense, but it doesn't do a great job during unloading. And, you know, you could use this, but I'm not feeling super excited about it. It doesn't really make me feel like, wow, this is great. It certainly isn't. We can do way better than this, as I will show in a minute. But it's a choice. It's available. And here are the predictions. The best you can do with the PRF model. Now, another model is the three network model. So this is the PolyU mod version of the three network model. I used to promote this. Uh, some time ago before I came up with something even better but the three network model um, it works pretty well in this case you can see that the, the shapes of the curves are pretty decent uh, the strain rate effects are captured pretty well the average error is six per six percent pretty good I usually aim for errors of that order so this is something that I wouldn't be ashamed about if I used this model but it doesn't really capture the response as well as one would like, particularly in compression. We see there at the experimental data, when I plot approximate true stress, true strain, there's a peak and then a softening. So the magnitude of stress goes down, and this model doesn't do that. Makes me feel like we're missing something here, even though the average error is pretty decent. So that brings me over to the two winners. The two winners are, <laughs> believe it or not, the three network viscoplastic model from the PolyUmod library, the TNV model. 
And if you use the TMV model and you set it up, the typically what I do and what I recommend is just clicking thermoplastic as the option and it selects this combination of uh, elements in the model. It's a modular model after all. And if you calibrate this by simply running calibration, um, this option here, you will get the predictions that are uh, have an error of 4.68%. It actually is way better than the other ones. Uh, there is a little bit of an interesting shape here, but that's that's okay. It's it's uh, overall a very good fit, and uh, it's better than any of the other models we've seen so far. So to summarize, if you look at all these models, and here are the error in, in the predictions, and here are the different material models on the x-axis. We have the, the basic models, the BB model, the PRF model, the Johnson Cook are similar and they're not that great. We can reduce the error by, by half by switching to these other polyumod style three network type models, the TN models, the TNV models. There are two versions of the TNV model power and the TNV model PSC, which is another flow model that works slightly better. So that's the best model you can use today for polycarbonate under these conditions. If you have any questions about this, you can ask them below.